What is up, nerds? Joey here of Yugatech, and you all know what it is. We are back at it again with another installment of the show where we take a look at different smartphones and answer just one question and one question only. This is the sixth episode of Can It Game? Now, it doesn't matter if you're new here or if you've seen this series before because nothing has changed at all with the format of our show. Smartphones come in all shapes and sizes with different outstanding features, but it's okay. We don't need to worry about any of that because it simply does not matter. All we want to know is, can it actually play video games? And how good are they at it? So, so far on this show, we've actually only tested mid-range and flagship smartphones, but we haven't really dabbled into the entry level. Which is where this one comes in. The newly released and very popular Realme C1. This thing was flying like hotcakes in the Lazada 1212 sale. It's an entry level phone that you can get for less than 6,000 pesos right now, and it's looking to be the entry level king due to its great value for the price. But can the Realme C1 game? Let's check it out. Now, if you're currently using a better phone than the C1, these specs aren't going to sound impressive at all, but here we go. We got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 450 8-core processor, Adreno 506 GPU, just two gigabytes of RAM and only 16 gigabytes of internal storage. It's lackluster hardware, yeah, and you wouldn't really think it's appropriate for playing heavy games, but keep on watching. You'll find out later. But for now, let's discuss our test setup. So as per usual, all we have installed on the phone are the games and benchmarks we need, though on a side note, we had to uninstall apps after testing because, you know, we only have 16 gigabytes to work with, we were running out of space. Okay, next we have the animation speed set to 0.5 in the developer options, and we have graphics acceleration turned on in the Realme game space because I think you guys would agree with this, the phone needs all the help it can get. Okay, so starting with synthetic benchmarks. Yeah, it's not looking so good. In Antutu V7, we are well below 100k with a score of almost 73,000. In fact, if you see here, even the Vivo Y95 with the Snapdragon 439 scores even higher than it. This is probably because that phone has 4GB of RAM while the C1 only has 2. In the PC Mark Work 2.0 test, about 5,000. And in 3D Mark Slingshot Extreme, yeah. Only about 400 on both the OpenGL and Vulkan tests. So moving on to the actual games, we usually conduct our testing with the highest graphics settings, but this time we had to bump it down to medium because otherwise they simply would not even run. We tested PUBG Mobile, Rules of Survival, Mobile Legends, Asphalt 9, and Tekken Mobile. Taking a look at our results, yeah. The experience was riddled with stutters and frame drops, and in most of our games, we aren't even hitting 30 FPS, which is the minimum we consider to be playable. Stability isn't so great either, as you can see with Rules of Survival, it only has a stability index of 34%. So, with all these numbers, we must condense it all and conclude this video with one answer. Can the Realme C1 game? It's hard to say this, but it's a no. Now, listen. Before all the Realme fanboys rage in the comments and hate on me, hear me out. In this series, we have to set a certain standard for our conclusions. And for those standards, the Realme C1 just doesn't cut it. Yes, the games will run just fine on the phone with the right graphics settings, but the experience isn't smooth. It's not what we want to experience when we're playing games. And I'm not saying this to hate on the C1, but it's to let you guys know that if you are planning to buy this phone for heavy gaming, then you won't have the best experience. So yeah, for the first time in the history of this series, the answer to can it game is no. Thanks for watching guys because that wraps up this video. What phone do you want us to test out in the next episode? Let us know in the comments section down below or hit us up on Twitter at Yugatech or send a message over to our Facebook page. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and hit the bell icon to be notified of our future uploads. Again, this has been Joey of Yugatech and I'll see you nerds in the next one. Peace.